going to be an easy 90s inspired makeup outfit and DIY choker necklace. I was born in 91 so I didn't grow up in the 90s. I was still a baby but I still love the 90s trends so I wanted to do a simple look that anyone could do. A lot of looks in the 90s were a natural face with some kind of bold lip whether it's a mauve, a brown, a nude, a red, a dark vampy color. There were just a lot of bold lips and not too much going on on the face. I didn't even highlight today you guys. Seriously you know I can't live without highlighting and there's no highlight on these cheekbones. I'm really digging this look so I hope you guys like it. I based the whole makeup around this lip color which is Lolita from Kat Von D. I am obsessed with it. The rest of the face is pretty natural. Then I also did my first DIY showing you how I made this affordable choker necklace. Yes, can you believe chokers are back? I never thought that would be a thing again. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you do and let me know in the comments what you think of the video. I love you and if you want to see how I got this look then please keep watching. So I'm going to start with my skin today. I'm going to use the Benefit Professional Primer all over the skin. This helps cover up any pores and also keeps me matte because I'm oily and in the 90s I feel like everything was a lot more matte. For my foundation, I'm going to use Revlon Colorstay Whipped in the shade Natural Tan. This is my tanner shade. And I just use a little Q-tip to scoop it out because it's in a jar and then I'm going to use my Sigma F80 to apply it. This is one of my favorite drugstore foundations ever. Especially during summertime. I don't wear it as much during winter because my skin gets a little bit drier. But for this look I wanted a really matte face. Also, random note, I'm using some new lighting today so let me know if you guys will like it. I'm trying out a few new things. I hate when I find random hairs on my face, like, why? Then I'm gonna take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard, just to highlight a little bit, but mostly to conceal any darkness under the eyes. This is another one of my favorites. This concealer is always my go-to because I always know that it's gonna last all day and cover up any darkness. Then I'm going to take some of this banana powder from Anastasia just to set my under eyes and I'm also going to use it to set in my T-zone because I don't want any shine. So for the eyes, I'm going to keep it really minimal. I feel like a lot of 90s looks were really about the lips, not a whole lot going on with the eyes. And if it was, it was either just shadow or just liner. So I'm going to go with some natural looking eyeshadows. First, I'm going to take Barcelona Beach from Makeup Geek just to use it kind of like as a transition color, but I'm basically just going to have a taupey color all over the lid. And this is more of like a neutral taupey color, so this is perfect for this look. Because I didn't want to do like a 90s grunge look, I still wanted to do more of a classic 90s inspired, but I do want to have kind of that messy natural eyeshadow. So now I'm going to take Latte also from Makeup Geek. I'm just going to use a Sigma E25 crease brush and just kind of buff this all over the lid area. You can use a lid brush if you want. I'm just using this because then I don't have to switch between a lid brush and a crease brush because this is great for the crease. I'm just being kind of messy, not really trying to be too precise. You just want to get it all over the lid. This color is really pretty. I'm digging it. I'm just going to take that same blending brush and just kind of blend it a little bit more. I don't have any more product on it or anything. So that's pretty much it for the lids. Now I'm going to take this nude eyeliner from NARS in Rue Bonaparte, just in the waterline. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I make the weirdest faces when I'm doing my waterline, I'm always like, <laughs> I don't know why I do that. And a lot of my makeup looks when I'm doing my eyeshadow, my mouth is wide open and I'm like, Amanda, can you please close your mouth? But it's just like, I just my face just does it. Ooh, eyes are watering. 
So I'm gonna go back to Latte from Makeup Geek with a Sigma Short Shader E20 just to put a little bit on the lower lash line. P.S. I'm glad you guys liked my first talk through tutorial that I did a few weeks ago. The comments, like literally you guys made my day. And I was like, oh my gosh, they like when I talk. So I'm gonna try to do more of these talk through tutorials. There's actually been a dog where I live barking for like three weeks straight. And it was barking all day today and I'm glad it stopped. I was like, I'm gonna film a talk through. So I'm trying to take advantage of the silence. I'm gonna take this Sigma E45 taper blending with a little bit of Barcelona Beach and kind of buff it out. So what do you guys think of the 90s debate? I feel like I was a 90s baby. I was born in 91, but some people say you're not a 90s baby unless you were born in the 80s because you grew up in the 90s. But I mean, I feel like I got to enjoy some of it, so I don't really know if I'm classified as a 90s baby or not. What do you guys think? I feel like I am just because, I mean, I don't know. I feel like, if not, I'm a 2000s baby, I guess, right? I don't know. So I'm gonna apply mascara and lashes. I'm using some of the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. I got this as a sample. I don't really know where from. Maybe Sephora? I don't know, it's pretty good. So for lashes, I'm gonna use Lash Lorette from Mosquito. These are my favorite pair from them. They're very wispy, very natural looking. I'll try to show them to you. But the box is rose gold, so it kind of reflects. But they're really pretty. You guys ever struggle with trying to figure out which lash goes on which eye? Because unless they like get smaller and bigger, I'm always like, uh... <laughs> I'll like stare at the lash. I'm like, this is the left. No, this is the left. They're both the left. And then I'm like, I have no idea. Oh, I love these. Lashes, no lashes. Lashes, no lashes. Lashes. Text Adam, hey babe, I'll call you after I finish filming. Which I not Aaron, Adam. Which Aaron? Adam. Ready to send it? Yeah, send. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara for my lower lashes. And so far, I'm really liking this mascara. I feel like it's kind of hard to remove. Like, I'll wash my face and I'll still find some of it the next day, but I do really like it so far. So for the 90s face, it was more matte. Wasn't a whole lot of contouring, highlight blush. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of bronzer for a little bit of warmth. I'm gonna use Give Me Sun from MAC and, hello. Give me sun for MAC with this duo fiber brush from Sony Kashuk, just to kind of add some dimension back. Not really contour, but I don't want my face to look too flat. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of this blush from NARS. This is called Madly, just a really natural bronzy color. Okay, now for lipstick. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the camera so I can do my lips. I probably should have been this close the whole time, but sorry. So I'm gonna line my lips with Spice Lip Liner from MAC. It's just like a spicy brown. And then I'm gonna fill them in with Lolita Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D. I love this color. When I picked this up a few weeks ago, it was the last one, so I kind of thought it was a sign. I feel like the lip just makes the whole look like, I love this color. Now we just gotta let it dry. So here's the finished makeup. I hope you guys like it. Now we can move on to the DIY choker. So what you're gonna need is Gorilla Glue, a cord, cord and clasps, and your charms. 
First, you wanna measure out the length of your choker. You want it to be a little bit shorter than your neck because you're gonna have the clasps on the end and they'll be a little bit longer. Then I'm gonna take the Gorilla Glue and just glue the end and you put the cord in clasp, it has a hole, and then you just push them together and then we'll let it dry overnight and voila. They also have cord and clasps that clamp on, but I just found this was easier. Then before you put the other side on, don't forget to add your charm. I decided to go with the wishbone. And same thing on the other side, just put glue on the tip and push the clasp over and voila! Super easy and really affordable. Everything was under $10. So for the outfit, I decided to go with denim and black. All of the clothes are from Forever 21. And I'm also wearing some of my Lily extensions from Bellamy. I have two wefts of the ash brown. I'll link them down below with a coupon if you're interested. Then my other necklaces I'm wearing are also from Forever 21. And my rings are a combination of Forever 21 and Shop Lately. Then my bag is from Hot Look. I'm not sure of the exact brand, but I'll link it down below if I find it. I really, really love it. And then my shoes are my favorite. I got these last year. They're from H&M. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had so much fun making it. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you think. I love you, and I'll see you in my next video.